Murphy. Um, we also have some of uh, Norman's current colleagues on the school board, um, and they've joined us here today um, because I believe that um, you know they've seen his his working style and they want to support him um, as he transitions to the board of supervisors. Um, so, if I can have uh, Norman's colleagues come up to the stage, please. Um, <laughs> Mr. Bill Wayne, Commissioner Norton, and Commissioner Sandra Stewart. Thank you um, And we're going to start with Commissioner Wins, and then uh, Commissioner Hewer has agreed to, to speak next. And, Thank you. Um, I have uh, had the pleasure of serving on the Board of Education with Norman for eight of my 20 years on the board. However, I want to tell you that before Norman ran for the school board, <clears throat> he and I used to often talk about our mutual goal, which we have still not achieved, of having before and after school child care easily accessible to every SFUSD kid in every elementary school. And we talked about how it should be easy to do it. Oh, we could just do this. is even before I was on the board, the first time we talked about it. Oh, we could just do this. We could just do that. There are tremendous barriers to that. I'm sorry. Um, Senator Leno just left because some of them are state regulations. <laughs> but, um, but we're working on it. And this, this kind of, we have mutual goals. We're in this together. We'll take step one, and then we'll take step two, and then we'll take step three, and there may be a hundred more steps. That's the kind of work that we've done with Norman. In addition to that, our growing relationship, positive relationship with the city, uh, where we have kind of stopped arguing about jurisdictional issues and started focusing on what we can do together for, to achieve our mutual ends, which are the best possible services for our students and all the children in San Francisco has been enormously valuable. This has changed the dynamic, I think. And so I'm really looking forward to having Norman and more allies, more friends and colleagues on the Board of Supervisors. And I hope that, and I know you're here for that, so I hope that the people will support him and he'll be there for us, as he always has been for the children of San Francisco. Thank you. Hi, I'm Sandra Lee Fewer. And I am honored and proud to be amongst you today supporting Norman Lee. I am a somewhat new member to the board, and this is my first term. And Norman has been a personal mentor to me, um, to me as I navigate sort of this, you know, bureaucracy. What will Norman be like as a supervisor at City Hall for District 7 and for the City of San Francisco? Norman will be thoughtful. Norman will be a supporter of schools and families, as he always has been. Norman will treat everyone respectfully, and I don't know if all of you know that there are six women on the board, and there is Norman. And, um, you know, I was sort of wondering, like, gee, what is Norman going to be like? You know, we have six women, somewhat opinionated women, and Norman just navigates that field really well, respectful. There is a reason why we elected him as our president. He has shown leadership on the board time and time again. Norman reaches out to everybody. He is completely committed to engagement of um, our parents and of our students, of our teachers, but also his colleagues. And that is why I think we are, we are so fortunate that his family also has allowed him, and Norman has taken upon his responsibility to step it up to be our, to run for our supervisor and help us at City Hall and to make San Francisco a very family friendly. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. And so, in closing, I just, and I just want to say that I think this is going to be a tough race. You know, those of us that ran for office before, we know what it takes. It takes a lot of walking. It takes a lot of lip dropping. It takes a lot of you telling your friends, hey, you know what, we, could you come and meet Norman? I want to tell you about my friend Norman Yee. And I know I will be out there at West Portal helping to support Norman in the early mornings, passing out literature. And I hope all of you will, too. Uh, together, Norman can win this. 
and we men as San Franciscans will benefit from his leadership at City Hall. Thank you. Good morning. I'm Rachel Norton, the Vice President of Board of Education, and um, I'd first like to point out that I, the entire board is supporting Norman, has endorsed Norman's run for supervisor, and as Sandra said, that really is because of his leadership style. Uh, Norman has a story that is very familiar to a lot of San Franciscans. Uh, he was born and raised in Chinatown. Uh, he attended Galileo High School. He yeah. <laughs> accomplished and lovely daughters here, uh, one of whom works for the school district here. Um, and he has been, as you've heard, a lifelong advocate for, uh, for children and families in San Francisco. And I think that that is going to be a huge asset on the Board of Supervisors. Um, as Jill said, we have a lot of friends now on that board, and we can always use another one. I think uh, Norman, in his time on the school board, has been president, I think, three times. Two times or three times? Two times. And vice president two times. And it, it's really a testament to the way that he leads. He is very respectful. He is. He listens. He listens to both sides, and he really deliberates on every question. Sometimes it's frustrating as a colleague because you don't know which way Norman's going to go, but that's a good thing. That is a good thing because we really need leaders who are listening to both sides, who are willing to change their minds, who are willing to consider new evidence in, in whatever question is before them. Um, and I'm, I really respect Norman for that. So I think he's going to be a great supervisor. I'm very, very pleased to be supporting him. And I hope you will now say a few words to us about, or is it, are you next? You want me to say a few words? <laughs> <laughs> okay. And now to respond to all these wonderful things. Yeah. 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 Good afternoon. How are you doing today? You know, I, I wish I could stand up here and pretend that I can actually make a speech while I'm looking at my notes. But now I gotta take out my notes and um, I also want to I want to thank all of you to come out on a Saturday afternoon, all you supporters. Uh, I know there's you have lots of options on Saturdays and you're here today. And judging from who's here and the numbers that are here, we're going to have a real great campaign. And um, I, I want to, again, thank everybody that has uh, come up on the stage to say all these nice, kind words. Um, Senator Mark Leno, uh, I think he's gone, but, but he, he came so early, it was unbelievable. He, he was here like 10 something. And I don't know if you know this, but he's going to be running for state senator, and now this part of the San Francisco will be part of his district. So we have to remember that that's shifted. And um, John Alvos, uh, Supervisor Alvos, thank you for making. I, I actually was surprised he's here today, mainly because he has his own kickoff right now at this uh, very moment. So what you, I asked him, what are you doing here? You know, <laughs> you have your own. Uh, own event to attend to. And again, community leaders, I respect Brian and Sally and Kate so much. It means a lot to me that they were able to come today and say their nice words. And my colleagues on the school board, I really, it's, when people ask me about the school board and, and they're fishing for answers like, do you really want to be there? And is it okay to you know, have all, all these people uh, coming from different directions? And I, I, my answer is yes, absolutely. I love being on the school board with them. I love the fact that we don't agree all the time. I love that we could have, have a discussion and come to cons some consensus for most of the times. Not all of the time. <laughs> and most of all, I really want to thank my family. I, this, this, My third campaign. They've been side by side on each campaign, and today is no different. Carissa, who has been standing up here, emceeing, she flies up from LA twice a month to help in a campaign. 
about how incredible my life is. I mean, she gets into these campaigns 200%. Whatever energy I put in there, she puts two more hours than I do. Every day she goes out there and do things. And the whole family, because we make this, this decision to be campaigning like this as a family. And, she, and it's really about how we interact with each other. And she brings what I call this heart and soul to this campaign. Kathy, my wife. Because I knew I was going to like have to listen to everybody, I'm going to forget everything, so 